I mean, financially, I really don't know how you do it. Your wife has to work, and if you got kids in school, you're maintaining two homes, and uh, you know it's very difficult for a player to stick around in the minor leagues because for that long, because you're just not making any money. You can't stay that long. Right. Uh, can't afford it. Right. It's true. Well, Michael John's a good example. He had to go and buy the bus. Yeah. <laughs> right. A good bus. That I shows you how they live. I think it's time Michael Jordan really <laughs> sat down and said. Uh, you know his future because I, I just you know I look at that batting average. I think it's down below 200 now, and yeah. he, he is uh, showing very little evidence of being able to hit double A pitching. Never right. mind uh, right. you know major league pitching. Right, and, and you know at his age too. I mean not that he's old, but for baseball, you look at his age. And Michael's probably the greatest athlete we've ever seen. But I mean it's like anything else. You go out and do something you've never done before, and you right. try to hit a round ball. With a round bat coming at you 90, 95 miles an hour, it's very difficult. Not, not the same thing as throwing that basketball. <laughs> no, I mean that's true. <laughs> that's right. 17 yeah. feet. Right. Uh, uh, no, no question. A talented athlete. I think that maybe somewhere in the near future he will finally arrive at the conclusion that he's not going to be a you know major league ball player and will maybe you know point to the golf course. Well, all of well, the, the negative publicity he got, I think he'll probably stick and out the year just to show well you know. And, and who knows? Yeah, he could. I mean, I don't know, but who knows? I mean, I wouldn't rule that for the New York think. Knicks. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> the contract yeah, to the, yeah, uh, the Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls, right. yeah. The way I understand it. Well, baseball future major leagues. It doesn't look very, you know, good down the line, guys. Uh, strike looming. Um, it's a good possibility. It could be. Uh, it could be very harmful. I think this time around. I think the public has tolerated uh, some of this stuff. Uh, you know, going back to 1980, 81, uh, even earlier, back to 72, when the, the Tigers and the Red Sox uh, yeah. were half a half game a apart game. at the end. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of speculation. I know a lot of friends of mine who are baseball fans, uh, Don, Jim, who say uh, if they go on strike this time and they blow the season, uh, you know, they just might blow me away for good. I mean, I just might not bother with Major League Baseball anymore. That's kind of scary if get fans start to talk that way. Yeah, I sure yeah. think so. And I think there's a very good possibility there will be a strike, just what I read in the paper today. Uh, you know, I, it leads me to believe that it's way more than 50-50, there will be a strike. And, uh, you know, the owners, uh, you know, just from what they said, that they were going to take a hard line, and uh, I, I'm just afraid that we won't see a strike. Mm -hmm. I, I think the, the, the players, however, and I think the owners both look at the fans who fill the ballpark and turn on television sets and buy all those products as captives. And you know it doesn't matter. We can you know play with the game as much as we want. They'll come back. They'll always be back in the ballpark. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you know that's you, you would think that, uh, and I'm talking about the owners now, who I don't think have done a very good job of marketing the product. I mean, baseball was number one for years and years and years. And I think they sort of sat back and said, we can do whatever we want. It's going to continue to be number one. But now football has pulled ahead and uh, it's been drawing very well. And baseball really doesn't market the game and promote the game. Look at the Carlton Fisk situation oh, last yeah, year. Yeah. Basketball, NBA, if a guy's end of his career the last year, they'll have a, a day for around the, the league. And I don't know why baseball doesn't do this. It's great PR for them. I think football probably has done the better job of marketing, uh, or well, the best job of marketing of the major, major sports. Hockey's trying to market, yes. but that's a difficult <clears throat> proposition. If right. we took our four yeah. clubs in the area right here, I think right now you probably have to say the Patriots are the most popular. Yeah, yeah they really are. Yeah, football. They're selling sure. some tickets, and of course the Red Sox uh, and season doing tickets well are, now, you know, they going to go. Off. You know, if you look at the Red Sox, I know people say, oh, it's it's old, 1912, and it's crusty, and it's it's you know cozy. I can give you all the adjectives you want. I find it an abomination to go to Fenway Park to sit and squeeze the seats to watch a ball game. I mean, I granted you're close. I mean. Uh, except for from first base on out to right field, and they become horrible seats. Okay. Yeah, well, you had all those hungry fans back then. We're all getting a little heavy now. No, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wise guy. <laughs> I, re I realize that. But uh, but Fenway Park, the the attendant parking problems, oh, that's and you know, and the way they whack you to put your car in a space and then oh, jam yeah. you in there so you can't get out until the guy out. in front and behind Just you gets like out. Just like Wrigley Field. Then again, uh, it's a terrible situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's horrible at Fenway yeah. Park. Yeah. It's it's build a new ballpark, uh, but. Uh, well, well, like Baltimore, I mean, they build a new ballpark, and they build it like the ballparks were years ago, but they got everything so much nicer. And Have you been cold. there, Don? I've yeah. only seen it on TV and what the players well, have told me been to Camden. I've been to Camden Yards twice once to see the Red Sox the first year, two years ago. Uh -huh. And uh, I found that 
absolutely ideal because there are parking lots that run from camp from the That's ballpark great. itself and the factory behind there, the railroad building there they go out for like oh five or six blocks and they're huge parking lots so that you don't you really don't have any trouble getting you know, into uh, the Camden Yards and area. Doesn't, it, doesn't that come right off the major highway? Yeah, it does. The access yeah. is right from the there. access yeah. is beautiful, uh, connecting the north of Baltimore and down to Washington. It's very easy to get, to, to get there. It's very, very accessible, and the seats are very comfortable, and you are, you know, you have a location and you're better than close. Fenway Park, as far as I'm concerned. And you're pretty close to the field, too, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. So that, that's ideal. Yeah. yeah, you really are. You're on top of it. And then, of course, they've got that beautiful uh, food and beverage row that runs behind the right field stands over to center field. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love the scoreboard location. They have terraced bullpens. Yeah, this this is just a delightful ballpark sure. to go There's to. There's no there. question that that's what we need around here. And Cleveland and Cleveland, Texas, Texas, those two parks now, they've done a good job out yeah, there. Well. Absolutely. But the, the future of baseball, what, you know, what does a strike mean? I mean, it, supposing, you know, to create a couple of scenarios for you guys, and I'm sure you've thought about this, approaching 40, and it's got a reasonable shot of breaking Maris's record. Sorry, Kenny, I mean, it's oh. season's over. You We're know. shutting it down. Well, yeah. you've got a son, Jeff. Yep. What's, uh, you know, how's he feel? Well, I mean, he feels uh, that there's going to be a strike. and yeah. uh, He's yeah. playing at San Francisco. And, uh, you know, just from what you hear and what he's heard, and, you know, what head of the union has, has said to the players, and... Uh, you know, what the owners are saying, why it looks like there's a very good chance there will be a strike. Well, the owners want a cap, right? They want, yeah, they want a salary they, cap. Yeah. They want a salary cap, and then they want, uh, I don't know what they're planning in terms of revenue sharing, but they want a new arrangement on the revenue sharing part mm -hmm. of it. And it would appear that the ball players, uh, you know, are saying adamantly no to any salary cap. They don't want that sort Well, of and what they're saying about the salary cap would be grandfathered in, so the yeah, players now wouldn't yeah. be affected, only the players uh, yeah. who Coming are... Coming down the line. Yeah. yeah sure. And... Uh, you know, it'd be almost like the, if the big play, big league players, uh, you know, accepted that, it was like they sold the future players. Well, yeah, it's like denying your offspring. It's like yeah. saying, I'm sorry, you, yeah. daddy made big bucks, you know, yeah. but uh, yeah. you can't, uh, I'm sorry, you can't do what I did. That'd be pretty yeah. difficult, I would think, to do as a player to vote for, yeah. you know, vote for something like that. With the owner, what would the owners do, though? Uh, supposing uh, the players say, absolutely not, we're not playing anymore. Now, you're always going to close down the ballpark? I think that yeah. the owners well, are prepared to close down. Well, they have strike insurance yeah. Yeah. that yeah, they have yeah. taken out, yeah. and I close down the uh, stadiums. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, they will make, particularly if there are some red-hot pennant races by... Oh. Uh, the, the date, by the way, that I, I'm sure you know targeted is August roughly August 15th, right. with a month and a half to go in the season. If and they, now with divisional uh, play and, you know, the different, uh, more teams getting into the divisional play, why, you know, which would, I would think would create more interest, I would think this would mean a lot of dollars that would be lost. Yeah, and here, you know, and your season ends around August 12th, 15th. August 15th is, yeah. is the last it's day. The last yeah. day of yeah. your season. Sure. And then we'll have nothing to look forward to of, uh, uh, August and September in the way of baseball. That's discouraging. You know, <laughs> except, except even that will be over by that I time. That, yeah. yeah, the tournament. Uh, might it's be very, you know, when you think about it. Sure. Uh, it, it I'll tell you, it make me damn mad, Don. I'll me tell too. You, if they, I mean, if they, if they do. Me very, you know. It would make me very mad if they do strike two. Yeah. Well, anyway, you've got a big season in front of you. You got to think about that one. And uh, I know you're not one for making predictions, <coughs> but uh, how does that league stack up? Uh, how are the vi the uh, Wareham Gate balance of that ten-team circuit? Well, I think we're going to have a very competitive team, an exciting team again this year. I think we'll have some pretty good team speed. We got uh, a couple guys that, a few guys that can run real well, and I think uh, we'll have pretty good pitching, pretty good defense. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to a, a real uh, competitive uh, ball club. Uh, uh, this is, you know, this this is interesting because if you hit more home runs on the road, more folks to the away games, <laughs> the home, you must. Have of reaching the seats there. Well, we probably got a couple guys. Uh, I think we got Clint Bryant that may hit a few. All Dan Thompson might hit a few home runs, and also Kyle Thompson. But basically, like I say, our ballpark's a tough ballpark to hit many home yeah. runs in. I mean, uh, we got like 400 to center field, 330 down the right field line, and after you get right off the left field foul pole, which is 319, it goes out very fast in left field. So it's a good pitcher's ballpark. And uh, actually, the ball plays it. Don goes out looking for you're not looking for a lot of power. He's looking, you're for, looking speed for speed. Right, yeah. Well, I, I, think, I think one of the things you have to be very careful about is when you're recruiting college players 
if you're looking for the guys to hit the home runs. That's they got a big bat long, the wooden they're going to be able to adjust the wood bat. The guy that makes contact, a good contact hitter, he'll have less trouble and take him less yeah. time to make the say the uh, the wood. I'm, I'm delighted that you know the aluminum bats uh, goes without saying. I never did. I don't know about you guys, but I never oh, liked aluminum oh, yeah, bats. No. That's what it, <laughs> when we knew baseball when we were yeah. wood bats. That's baseball. Yeah. Aluminum bats. I mean, you can make a great pitch as a pitcher, and a guy hits the ball off his hands and drive it off the end of the bat, and really hits the ball well. With a wood bat, you're going to break the bat, and you're retired very easily. One quick question for you, the general manager. Is there any plans for expansion uh, in the down league? the line? Yeah. Uh, not at the uh, moment. I think it would be kind of tough. Uh, right now, uh, there have been a couple of franchises that have had a little difficulty. State expansion would be down the line. And with the status that you pointed out, when, uh, we get a grant of 85000 a year. And we were even sweating this year because baseball was cutting back. The minor leagues, I think it's double A, they're down to three um, uh, yep. two umpires two instead umpires. of three yep. now. Yeah. Two so system, yeah. we thought we were going to take the cut. Fortunately for us, they cut themselves, but what's going to happen next year? And you I don't may think not get any support next year if baseball yeah. collapses that, that's for, what happens for any length of time. Right now, as a league, we're thinking of ways that we can become solvent with ourselves. Well, well, I hope I they know. can uh, you know, overlook their differences and sit well, down and, and reasonably hammer out something that will be satisfying to both sides. It will have a big effect on us as a league. Yeah. Really Greed, oh boy, the enemy. Don, I want to thank you for j dropping by. Jimmy, nice to see you again, and I, I do see you occasionally, and uh, I haven't seen Don since last summer uh, when uh, we went down to well, the... Well, he gets uh, lost for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun, and uh, we'll, we'll be joining you, too, uh, during the season here and there, and you know, wish you the best of luck. Well, I sure enjoyed being here. Thank you. Jim? Mm -hmm. Thank you for having well, us. A great season. Special edition of Sports Parade. See you next time.